right, welcome, welcome. Let's get going on that rock elemental. This is at the ZBrush 2021.6.6. Uh, I know uh, point seven came out, but I haven't updated it yet. Need to look at that, those new features. Um, if we're gonna get updated in class anyway, so. save as startup material and that's going to be a nice baseline default for what we need um, next let's make some rocks so uh, we're going to start by over here on the tool we're going to click on that sphere 3d it's a good thing to start with drag this out here and over here on edit is going to be t on the keyboard t. now we can edit this well it's not polymers 3d so we can Rotate it. And bring that audio down. Um, there you go. I'm trying to keep the music reasonable. Oh, this is a uh, stream beats on YouTube. Nice and chill. Alright, so uh, the other step that we need after we put it in edit mode is make polymesh 3D, which will allow us to actually edit this. So uh, we're gonna make our first rock. Uh, so what I would recommend to get started with is figure out the initial shape. So for this, we're gonna go to the move brush B M V for move. We'll make it nice and big. This is S, well, S on the keyboard, and then we drag to change the size. So let's say I want this rock to be, you know, you don't want it to be too even. Bring that in, just some sort of a asymmetrical egg pebble shape. It's whatever. Um, something like this. Now, if we hit Shift F. I'm gonna notice all of those, uh, all that topology. So, on occasion, we can go uh, down here to geometry and we're gonna go to dynamish right here. Uh, I'll set the resolution to like 24, we don't need it too high to block things out. Hit dynamish, and give us this one. Uh, we can probably even go higher than that. So, I'm gonna control Z to go back, as you know, if you remember. The history is also over here for me too. Let's set it to 32. Enter. Mm, we can go higher than that. Let's see what. Yeah, even 128 on this one. It's probably going to be fine. We're just blocking shapes out. Shift F. Go out of polyframe. Uh, BCB for play buildup. And uh, what I want to do is just just make some surface noise will come in handy later after we use the trim that oops what did I do? Eh. fix that so let me just uh, 
I'll use this opportunity to save and figure out. There it is. Yeah. So uh, right here, if this happens, it's probably because I right click by accident on here and it just gave me all this extra space that later can be modified. Some of you will notice I have these custom keys over here. I'm not going to use it on this. Um, but this is useful as you get comfortable with zebras to set your own things. But if you accidentally find yourself with this extra space, you just get over here to where you see um, the cursor change, double click, and that will go away. Remember saving, we don't save files over here. We save tools, save as tool. Remember to save often. Uh, okay, Q, so I'm just gonna make it nice and noisy a little bit. Or you hold alt to dig in right just a little bit just to give us a little bit of randomness to it i'm not really using a reference for this but i strongly recommend you all do until you get a good sense for it you know all right make it nice and noisy random surface detail because once we go to uh, Trim Dynamic, which is B, T, D, Large Brush, now I can um, probably bring the intensity down, let's see if it will preserve any of it. Like it's doing some of it. getting some of this preserved by overall but overall and again uh, and we can do a couple of other different things with this as well um, BDS for damn standard we can have a few cracks here and there we're gonna look a little on the soft end is fine. We can always go back to B T D. Remember the cuts are deep. That's fine because T D is gonna flatten those things out for us. I'm just going for that organic shape. I'm not overthinking it. I'm not being super precious with each uh, brush stroke. You know. moving around jumping around very fast keep that in mind uh, intensity again you increase the intensity you know and I just want those rugged hard edges anyway my neck look a little bit stylized but that's okay too just wanted to read like a rock and get a lot of that random looking so whenever I see anything that's a little bit too soft I come in with uh, high intensity dynamic I'm just kind of trim that those shapes in and you notice it's starting to give us that nice form only flat over here you know I'm just kind of play around with it have fun I'm not going for anything super specific we're just trying to get some experience with navigating rotating around Using a tablet, which which you absolutely should be, you know, just dragging on empty space. If you're using a mouse, I would recommend a uh, uh, right mouse uh, technique that we discussed. But if you're using your um, stylus, then you can just. 
just drag on empty space and remember if you zoomed in a little bit uh, so much that it covers everything then you can still drag it out here outside that frame and that'll allow you to still continue manipulating those things this feels a little soft for me so I'm just gonna just give it a more sharper edge I'm just trying to get those forms to read like some sort of rocky erosion you know stink of rocks you know would recommend early on to just have a few images for reference just for inspiration again you don't need to copy it one for one but you know to get a feel for it and that'll be one you know, let's see pcb let me just uh, with you increase intensity I'm just gonna dig in a little bit and then right here right here okay. and then I'm just playing around with it until I find what I like and it would shift it becomes a little you can soften it if you like you don't really need a lot of softness here so going back to BTD and just want it to maintain some of those forms and something very important I want you all to be mindful of is when you start to see pixelation like this if you start to see pixelation like this shift F you notice that this is because of the polys uh, stretching it might be a good time to reapply dynamesh which if you remember still is activated for us So once this is still activated, we can just control drag over here. And there we are. That's all it takes. forms those are just various other techniques you can stop at any point i even like what i had before more than now but you know i'm gonna continue exploring figuring out if i can find something that feels pretty good and if i really want to go back to the old one that i had and have two for free. And what I could do is let's say I'm gonna stop this one here for now. What I could do is go to sub tool. Uh, let me just rename this rock underscore one. And I'm gonna duplicate this. Okay, so now I have two of them. I'm gonna go to W, move that one aside. So I'm going to move this one aside. And this one doesn't have a lot of history because it is the new one. So I'm going to go back to the old one. Or, you know, alt tap on either one. And from here, I can just drag it down and undo all the shenanigans that I did. You know, and I can decide where I want to stop. You. So, so let's say I want to stop right here. Okay. And then I have... Uh, oh, right here. See? And I have this rock and this new one. And with this one, I can do a lot of other interesting things like make it stretched out this way and maybe this way. You know, or with BMV. You know, 
this one like so Let's bring this out and now I have a completely different rock uh, you can maybe rotate it a little bit and BTD continue working on it BTD. I can bring the intensity down a little bit and I can probably if you notice we have some stretching right here right so I can now it fits the resolution I gave myself a little bit more resolution and I can go back and increase my intensity and just continue giving myself those nice hard edges that feel natural on a rocky kind of surface don't want them perfectly um, rough you just want them feel like rough over you know over eons of air and erosion and water and whatnot you know so some areas are gonna feel rougher and some areas gonna have like a smooth transition into another one and again if you're not sure what to do just have a rock up and the more you look at references over time you know the closer you get or at least you get to closer to understanding the essence of it because even if this is not realistic it's still the stylization reads like rock this is all we're doing for this assignment we're not looking for anything specific we're definitely going to be more nitpicky with how close we are in the future assignments but for now i just want it to feel like a rock this is gonna be the head this is gonna be I don't know the torso or something you can make several parts yeah, notice how I'm always changing my angle I'm always changing my size as need be having some different areas where the level of detail is different however I want to get a hard edge so basically what um, what trim dynamic does is kind of flattens this area compared to another so if I respect this edge over here it'll kind of flatten out this and give me this hard edge right here and I can break it up if I need to you know Side. a little bit smooth for my liking so BCB and you just a little bit of this then BTD again bring this down again with you bring it down and then I'll actually be able to maintain some of those underlying surfaces while still organics I got two of them and I don't like this here I don't like that at all feels too smooth a little bit rough so BCB let's make a mess oh, let's make a mess this is a fun assignment but just making a mess BTV Yeah, and just 
keeping a little bit of those little cracks and and hard lines here and there will feel pretty good for what we're doing. Just a little bit of just a little bit of I don't know why you're digging in so much. by default We haven't gone over the alphas in this class, but um, or yet, but you know, an alpha is just a way to um, give the brush a specific shape if you wanted to have one. And uh, in the case of this rock, it might be a good idea. Just have that hard edge. CB, I'm not going to commit to it. I'm just going to fill that in. This is what I'm talking about. I'm just going to fill that in a little bit. Okay. Fill, fill, fill. Then VTD. Going over it again. And I'm applying pressure indiscriminately where it's harder, where I want it to be more flat. And I can run over everything with a smooth brush as well. I'm just letting those the peaks and valleys kind of define the form for me, almost on their own. Just letting the brush do its thing. gonna go up okay so I'm gonna make over define it a little bit with that smaller brush something like this okay 
And now I want to get that harder edge back. So B, T, D. I'm not going to press down too, too hard. I'm just going to define other side of that. You know, just to very, really accentuate those hard edges. You know? Because I don't want... I don't want it to feel so soft, like it's putty or whatever. Or clay that's, you know, not dry. And I'm noticing some pixelation over here. You see those shapes, so... Ah. Oh no, where did I go? Good opportunity to use the F key, F for focus. And that brings us back to where we were. Pretty happy with that rock. Okay. So those are two different rocks. And um, I'm not gonna create the whole thing. I don't wanna let the video go too, too long, but just a reminder. Uh, so let's say this rock is gonna be the, the body and this rock is gonna be the head, for example. And again, we're just gonna create new ones. We're gonna append new, new forms here or insert, right? So uh, Shift P is gonna show us the ground plane or the floor plane and the world zero, zero, zero is gonna be somewhere around here. So I'm gonna um, also P for perspective mode, so I'm going to bring that one here, and let's say, and th this face over here is going to be a good indication of uh, where's the front, where's the side, and what have you. So let's say, let's say I want this to be kind of like this, and then this one, yep. That's because I erased the other history, so maybe make it a little bit smaller, maybe. And I can find a nice angle that you like. Shift P for floor, set is still on. No, so. And let's see, I can take this one and we haven't gotten to this yet, but uh, we'll go over it in the next class. So hit reset, and then I can stretch it this way if I wanted to. Something like this. Right. And whenever you're ready uh, with the different pieces, you can show me the different angles, including the front. And then Shift S to stamp it into the background. And we're gonna have the side. Shift S again, you know, the back, Shift S, and then the other side, and Shift S. You know, and in our case, don't forget a nice angle view. And now I ran out of space, which is definitely not something that will happen to you. What do we do? Very good question, me. Control N, and reset it. So I'm gonna get a nice, let's say what, this angle to be the nice big representational angle. Shift S and holding Alt to pan, zooming back out. It's gonna be this view, Shift S, this view, Shift S, that view, Shift S, and then this front. Oops. This we can grab with a uh, snip and sketch right here. I'm gonna hit new, and uh, you see that this is over it. I don't like that, so it's just gonna uh, ZBrush by default. Just gonna it's just gonna remember whatever was in the last one. So I'm gonna bring the mouse down here, and then Alt Tab back here, and for this assignment we're gonna grab this. I don't care about the interface. We're gonna talk about rendering and presentation a little bit more in the future, but for this assignment. You know, I just want to be able to see all of the, all of that hard work that you did. And, you know, I spent, what, 20, uh, 30 minutes on this so far? You should be spending 10 hours. Yeah, so, you know, around 10 hours. Every week, 10 hours. And uh, you can 
save this and uh, upload that to the forums. All right. Hope that helps. We'll see you all in class.